Chapter 77 Second World War and Born of Bob Nesta Male In 1937 on the day the Marijuana Tax Act was passed the Denver State Police and the State Security Authority raided the Lexington Hotel and arrested two men one of them was Samuel R Cadwell and the other was Moses Baka the two of them were the worst first marijuana prisoners the prosecutor who heard the case mr foster sims said that marijuana is the most dangerous drug among all the drugs and that he is very willing to punish marijuana related crimes so cadwell was fined $1000 and sentenced to 4 years at hard labor for selling marijuana without a tax stamp moses baka was sentenced to 18 months in prison for buying marijuana cigarettes from Cadwell and in 1939 the second world war began that war was caused by each country to show its power to other countries and to possess the wealth of other countries and before the start of the second world war albert einstein a german had immigrated to america and it is not necessary to confirm that he was engaged in an effort to gain his presence and name in america because it showed that it is possible to produce a high powered bomb by exploding the nucleus of the uranium atom because of this his efforts are not well known to the world that is to say since then man has been working regardless of class to ensure his existence for that reason oppenheimer is currently criticized by the society but isn't albert einstein it's here with the albert einstein's pointing out enrico fermi of the university of chicago in the united states began conducting tests and experiments to build the equipment needed to make nuclear explosions america's central intelligence agency was founded during world war 2 It was called CIA for short. The CIA developed a cannabis-based drug to facilitate the extraction of information from captured POWs and spies. It was called Truth Drug and its abbreviation was TD. After being given the drug, the prisoners started laughing as much then that the CIA had to stop the secret project US president Franklin Roosevelt died on April 12 1945 terminally ill as world war 2 raged on the same day Harry S Truman was sworn in as the 33rd president of the United States of America with the arrival of the new president American Glenn Theodore Seibo accelerated the production of uranium and plutonium bombs because the newly elected president needed something big to show the world his intention to somehow win the world war 2 and put his name above the name of America he was a very cruel person who took harsh decisions a good example of that is uranium nuclear bomb called little boy dropped on hiroshima japan on august 6 1945 and the plutonium bomb called fat man dropped on nagasaki on august 9 1945 harry s truman's disregard for the huge number of lives that will be lost gives you an idea of what a terrible person he is i will present a question that arises when you think about these phenomena How they gave Nobel Prize, the highest award in the world, to Albert Einstein and Glenn Theodore Seaborg, who supported Franklin Roosevelt and Harry S. Truman to commit such a great crime. It is like this man, in pursuit of pleasure and his own identity, justifying the, his actions, whether they are good or bad, and giving them what they want through politics. You may understand. that although oppenheimer who did not support nuclear bomb test and burned those test reports became a villain to the world 
Albert Einstein and Glenn Theodore Seaborg who supported it became heroes to the world and that is how politics works try to understand this phenomena with using your brain and it's not so hard to understand during this time the rastafari king who led the african revolution was defied and a religion was born in his name a major part of this widespread religion was the smoking hem over time some young people created new styles of music and bunny wailers and peter tosh came together to create a musical rhythm called reggae on february 6 1945 bob nesta male the first to make this new music known around the world was born a rastafarian bob male was fond of playing the guitar and singing in church as a youth after some time together with peter tosh and bunny wailers bob male mastered reggae music and launched the battle to eliminate the color difference between white people and black people through his music around the world please subscribe our channel project salon and thank you very much for your appreciation